Hey everyone, it's me Teresa from HealthyVeganLife.com and today I want to show you three easy and delicious vegan recipes for snacks that you can enjoy whilst watching a movie. Usually the crap that is available is, well, crap. And so we're going to try and, you know, make some things that are oil-free, um, very low in sugar or sugar-free and uh, yeah, just really good for you overall. So uh, let us go and make them. We are going to start by making our baked tortilla chips. Uh, so you will need to preheat your oven to 175 degrees Celsius. And then we're just going to take some corn tortillas and this, um, they should be oil free, they usually are. Uh, and we're going to take six of them and um, slice them into little chips. Now I like to use a pizza cutter for that. So um, you just cut it in half. I've put a few on top of each other. I recommend putting no more than two on top of each other, otherwise it becomes a bit too difficult like you can see here. And then you want to uh, cut each half into three chips. Once that is done, you want to place all your individual chips onto a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Um, just spread them all out and you can add if you want some spices on top. I added some uh, salt and a bit of paprika powder, but you can really add anything you like. Place your baking tray into the oven for 8 to 10 minutes and uh, make sure you don't leave them in longer than that because they will start to burn. They won't look burnt, but they will taste burnt and I've done that so you know, it's not, that's not good. And then after 8 to 10 minutes you are left with some really crispy, yummy and nacho chips that you can uh, dip in salsa. I have a recipe in my ebook for salsa or just bought from the store or some homemade guacamole would be nice as well. Next up are our mini peanut butter chocolate truffles for which we will need 160 grams of bitter dates, which is almost a cup. And we're going to add uh, that to our food processor with one fourth of a cup of oat flour and one fourth of a cup of cocoa powder and also peanut butter. Now I like to use powdered peanut butter because it's lower in fat. So I mixed two tablespoons of powdered peanut butter with water, but you could also just use one to two tablespoons of natural peanut butter. This is where the food processor broke, so I had to use another one. Uh, and you just want to turn it on and let it all uh, process until the mixture starts to become a ball. And then you can take it out and start to form your little truffles. Now you can just take little bits of the dough and roll it until it is a little truffle and keep going. Uh, but you could also use some kasha, which is to toasted buckwheat and place a few pieces into each little truffle so the inside of each truffle has a bit of a crispy filling which is quite nice actually. Um, I do have to warn you though, making these little truffles, uh, especially with the buckwheat in it, is it takes a lot of time. So if you don't have the time for that, you could just make bigger truffles, um, it will go much faster. Or you could just make a few of each, like I've done. And this is what they look like when they're done. Now to make our mini oat cookies, we need to first preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius and then in a large mixing bowl, mix one half of a cup of whole wheat flour, one cup of fine or quick oats, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And we just need to mix that together and uh, then set it aside so we can start on our wet ingredients. You will need two small bananas and we're just going to mash them up with a fork. And uh, when it's nice and mashed, we're going to put it in a small bowl. Then mix one fourth of a cup of caster sugar through the mashed banana. 
Take your bowl of wet ingredients and pour it into the bowl with the dry ingredients and mix it all together until it is all uniform and then we can add our last ingredient which will be raisins. We will need two tablespoons and if you want to you could replace the raisins with chocolate chips um, but I prefer raisins. Place teaspoons of the batter onto a baking tray lined with parchment paper and um, again a tip that I've mentioned before is to wet your spoon in a little a bowl of water every time before you go in for the dough. This helps um, to prevent the dough from sticking to your spoon that you're using. And uh, with this amount of dough that we've made, I managed to make 42 mini cookies. And the last step before you want to put them in the oven is to uh, pat them down a bit so they are more cookie shaped and also to sprinkle a little bit of brown sugar on top of each little cookie. Then put them in the oven and bake them for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes you will have a big batch of adorable little cookies. Um, they are so good guys. And um, you could store them in the fridge if you wanted to. Uh, or eat them all at once, whatever you uh, <laughs> feel like. Okay, so we have a crisp. Crisp, a chip, a nacho chip here with some salsa. That crunch is good. Then we have a little truffle bowl. I hope this is a crunchy one because I made different ones. I made them big and some smaller and some in here have the buckwheat crisps and others don't. I think this is a good one. Nope. It's a soft one. Still good though. Let's try and find the crispy one. No, nope. still not a crispy one. Okay, let's hope this one is it. Got it. Mm. The buckwheat in there really gives it a nice crispy crunch that you would have in like the blue M&Ms that have the cookie stuff inside. And the buckwheat does that perfectly and also gives a slight nutty flavour, which I personally really like. So I think these will be a hit if you make these for your friends and family. And last but not least, a cookie. That is really nice. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, press the like please, that will help me a lot. Um, and also, please let me know in the comments what your favourite movie snack is uh, and if you have if you have a non-vegan favourite that you've been able to veganise or if, or if you find a new fa a vegan favourite, let me know, I'm very curious. I'll see you next week. Bye bye! I don't know how I'm going to eat this. I need some kind of like table here so you can see me eating these snacks that we just made. It like this. See what I'm doing? Probably not. I have food all over my pants. <laughs> Why?